Hey guys, what's up? We're here in my garage at home and I've got something really exciting to show you guys. Um, as you know, I'm not a huge fan of Chauvet and some of the crappy quality bags and stuff that they put out with their products, as expensive as they are, they always send it with the cheapest bag, the cheapest uh, case, whatever it comes with, right? Um, so here we have uh, the brand new long awaited CHS GBM. This is the hard case for the gig bar plus ILS. Now, as you know, Chave, when they ship you um, the gig bar ILS, they always ship the stand in this cheap, this is my third bag, by the way, to go through uh, for the stand for the gig bar. This one's already torn. This is the newest one. It's got a hole here. It's got two holes here um, and it's frayed right here. And actually, yeah, it's coming apart right here. So third bag already done. And then of course the new gig bar ILS, um, crappy, crappy case. The, the hinge straps, I guess you could call it already have torn. They, they were, they tore like the second week I got it. Um, and it just feels cheap. It's already got some frays on the ends where I've loaded it into my trailer and it's just crap. So this is where, um, the new long awaited hard case came out. Now this, this case actually holds the stand in there with it. So yeah, you got a little bit more real estate. So you know, it's going to be heavier. Obviously the gig bar is already heavy as hell. Um, but the, the stand is going to be in here with it now. So that adds more weight, but at least it's all together. Cause there have been times where I've almost forgot the stand. I'm in a hurry. So we're going to unbox this. I'm going to show you the case for the first time. I haven't seen it yet. It's brand new. It just got here. Um, so I haven't even seen it yet. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. definitely a beast wow so I'll tell you right off the bat just even lifting the box it was super light so here is the case not heavy at all but like I said the gig bar itself weighs a lot so once this the gig bar goes into here and also the stand it's gonna add some weight to it guys but I'm gonna tell you right now super cool it's actually got a handle on this side too and of course, a handle on the main side. Oh, wow. Guys, this thing even has wheels on it. I didn't, actually, I didn't even know that. I did not even know that. So there are actually wheels on the bottom side so that you could roll this thing around, which I love. And it's got these heavy duty feet on all four corners here so that when you lay it down, it's not laying directly on the case. It's laying on feet. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like that. It's got latches on three sides. I like that. Feels pretty heavy duty guys. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Now I'll tell you right off the bat, what I'm not a fan of is these, these are the exact same hinges that came on the cheap ILS bag. It's just cloth. So opening this and this falling over, over time, I can guarantee you already that these little fabric hinges are gonna break. I don't see those lasting long at all, but here's where the stand goes. Here's where the gig bar goes. So let's put it in there, see what it looks like. I know Cleveland Terry posted a video that he was a fan of the gig bar, but he hated the case and the stand already. That fits in there. See how it's rocking already. I can guarantee you foot pedal goes on that side. What I don't like that I like on this bag is that it has a pocket. So the pocket is where I keep all of my wires and whatnot. And I've got a surprise for you guys on this gig bar. Never been a fan of the derbies. Hate the way it looks. There was a YouTube person that commented on one of my videos said, bro, you got to get rid of those dots in your video. The gig bar is tacky. 
I couldn't agree with him more. Sometimes I don't even use the derby. I cut them off with the remote. Foot pedal, I've never used it, but they do have a slot for it right here. That's everything, gig bar um, and a stand all in one case. But what I don't like is there's not a place for the wires. I mean, I guess you could throw it in here. It wouldn't really make that much of a difference, but let me see if I can pan down. As you can see, there is everything um, all in one. So what's cool is we can now carry everything together and not forget a stand, not forget um, wires, anything like that. So um, anyways, the surprise that I have for you guys is actually right there in that box. So what I did is I ordered uh, more derbies. Um, let me, not derbies, I'm sorry. What am I talking about? I hate the derbies. I ordered more PARs from Chave, the same pars that go on the gig bar. I talked to Gilbert over at Chave. I said, dude, I hate the derbies. I've never liked them. Finally, somebody pointed it out to me in one of my videos. And I said, can I order extra pars and just replace the derbies? He said, all day. So those just came in today. I'm gonna take the derbies off, put more pars in there. I like the more wash idea. So let's try that. And uh, that'll be on another video, but I just wanted to show you the case right now. I'm really digging this case. Um, like I said, it's going to add more weight with the stand, but man, this thing is robust looking. Yeah, guys, so here's a look at the case uh, up close. So as you can see, those fabric straps right there, I'm telling you, those things are going to break. But the stand is in here. Um, of course, the Gig Bar ILS. And like I said, in that box right there, I have two more of these pars, which they said I could just take these derbies off and then replace them with pars. I really want to eliminate this as well. I've never been a fan of the laser, especially the laser, uh, but um, I could probably just unplug that during gigs and not even use it. But I really wish they would have went with like a higher end, type of latch or a type of strap right there or maybe a chain or something i don't know that's gonna bust though but yeah everything looks good in here man i'm really a fan of this tell me what y'all think are you using this i've searched youtube everywhere i couldn't find anybody that already had one of these cleveland terry said that he was going to order one and post a video about it but i have not seen it yet and then here's the um the one it came with right i mean i guess it was all right but you can see those straps are gone already. They broke off a long time ago. And what I do like though, is I like that pocket. This is where I keep extra batteries, um, an extra long cord. So yeah, I guess I could just throw that in there. That's for the foot pedal, I guess. this can just kind of stay in here somewhere it's not exactly ideal but whatever all right guys so i know i said that i was going to make it another video um but yeah the case um and then like i mentioned these are the derbies from the gig bar move ils was never a fan of the cheap spencer gift type look that it gave off you know spencer gifts is like one of those cheap um, places where you buy like party lights and stuff like that. But so yeah, man, I took these off and I ordered two more pars from Chave. And uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like, man. Let me put this crap in this. So check this out, guys. There it is. The derbies used to be up top, um, but I'm digging this, man. So more wash, uh, more lights on the dance floor. I think this is gonna make a huge difference. Um, and everything works with the remote still. So I've been testing it out, kind of uh, doing different movements um, with the moving heads. You can see them moving there and the colors are changing perfectly. So where the derbies were, um, I guess what I could do is actually turn those off. 
turns off those. What I don't know, I guess since the remote knows that those are now pars, um, if I hit Derby, it doesn't do anything. But if I hit the actual par button, you can see it turns everything off. I kind of like that. That way I don't have to go back and forth. Um, so turn everything on at one time. Yeah, I'm actually digging that. Change the colors. Put it on static. Change colors. They all change the same time. Totally digging that. Um, so if you have the Gig Bar Plus ILS and you're not a fan of the Derbies either, definitely order two more pars. They were 75 bucks a piece, guys. That's nothing. And it will change the look of your dance floor. You won't have those dots anymore um, all over the place from the Derbies. Instead, you'll just have wash and you'll have your moving heads. And then not a fan of the laser. I might just either point that up at the ceiling or just disconnect this um, and just leave it disconnected. Not a fan of it. Or just take it off. Heck, I don't even need it. Guys, you could just remove this and be done with that. I didn't even think about that. But I might just take that off and nobody's a fan of that laser and just have washing moving heads finally. All right, so there it is. I took the laser off. I mean, all you see is the button on top or the screw, but uh, now you don't even have to worry about it. And <laughs> to tell you what, I might even just order another par and put it right there. Go ahead and put another par, plug it in there, and then have uh, five pars. Wow. More wash. I might experience that, guys. What do you think? Are you digging this look or not? Do you have the ILS gig bar? Are you a fan of the derbies? Are you a fan of the laser? It's just not right for weddings, I don't think. All right, so I closed my garage door, turned off the lights, uh, totally digging this look. Way better than the derbies, guys. Look at all this wash. Uh, the moving heads, obviously they're not adjusted for focus, but look at all this wash coverage. Wow, totally insane. I kind of wish those moving heads were autofocus. I know I'm asking a lot of Chave, but uh, because it's hard to focus those things once you set up at a venue, because it's always during the daylight, but I'm totally digging this. And one thing I never knew about this remote was the strobe function. I just figured it out. I could never figure out how to work it, but I got it set now to where if I hit strobe, everything starts strobing. Check that out. You got to mess with the plus and minus, but during a height buildup, all that wash and the lights and the moving heads are strobing. That looks dope. I'm totally happy with this look now. This makes me even more of a fan of the Gig Bar ILS. Turn the strobe off. Everything is working perfectly. Um, you can choose your colors, your statics. Uh, as you can see there, I could turn the strobes off. Now everything is static color. I can go through the colors, green, blue, uh, orange, white. Everything is working perfect. And what's cool is you can adjust um, the pars, you know, the ones on the bottom you can do to the outside, the ones on the top to the inside. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Super bright. Wow. And actually, guys, if you think about it, where the derbies were, they're like 10 times brighter than the regular pars. I don't know if that has to do with power consumption or, you know, maybe the derbies were, they have more wattage going to them. I'm not really going to get into the technical things of it, but those look, wow, those are super bright. And I mean, these are bright too. Don't get me wrong. Maybe it's because I wasn't looking directly at them, but the wash that it gives off is incredible. Digging this now. I'm a fan. Chave, you should start making them like this, bro. And get rid of that laser and maybe put like a small light bar, like another wash bar right there. That would be even more intense. All right, guys, so here's the, here's the real test, right? We're gonna see if uh, 
if the gig bar will actually fit inside of this case because as you know the case was molded for derbies um, so we're gonna see how this works out Moving heads. oh wow check that out it actually fits perfect it's flawless um, the pars actually are the exact same size as the derby so there you see right there, everything fits perfect in here. Now, if I were to add another par right here, it would not fit right here. Um, I would probably just take that par off and keep it in a separate bag or something and then mount it when I get to the venue. But I mean, as you can see right there, guys, it fits perfect inside of there. I didn't have to alter anything it's spot on and it's actually right to it so I love it uh, way better than those derbies anyways guys hope you like this modification um, if you end up doing it yourself I would love to see how it works out for you um, please subscribe to the channel we, we're doing stuff like this all the time um, <clears throat> we got some great ideas coming up for some future products but we'd love to have you as a subscriber. It helps support the channel. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this, man. I'll see you on the next one.